This is the love of heaven no. Hello guys and welcome to a, this is kind of a computer tutorial and I've literally only just learned this, right, I'm just going to unplug a USB from it, from my computer, sorry, I've literally only just learned this, I'm also going to ask you guys for some help as long as I can find one USB stick, okay, now this, as you can probably tell by the title, is a tutorial how to increase your RAM on your computer, um, without actually buying any RAM um, and you'd probably just be like right we're not downloading anything it doesn't actually involve any downloading you could do it off of the internet if you wanted to it doesn't involve anything like that and I don't know why my mouse is flickering don't ask me but okay let's start off memory stick so you need just a normal memory stick I think the, I, I don't know what the minimum can be but just a little pen drive a, I'll search on the internet so you know what they look like if you really don't know. There, just one of them. Oh, crap, how big must that be? One terabyte down. But yeah, that's all you need. Okay, you just need one of them, okay? And you need to plug it into preferably the fastest. Um, so my computer's got USB 2.0 and USB 3.0. So I'm going to plug it into a USB. 3.0 drive crap and I cannot plug USB drives in by the look of this guys so once it's plugged in you'll if you've got it activated you'll get this little notification here just close that off and then go to computer now you'll see this is video backup I used to use this on my old laptop as a video backup that's why it's called that and then there's only this one folder in there um, but yeah so you just right click as you can see I've got 12 gigs of RAM that was used to be a better processor but it broke so you know you know that's not the best but go down to properties and here there's just some information that you know I don't really care what it says you can do all this stuff like defragment it and then error checking error checking doesn't seem to do anything and my mouse is just flickering I'm going to have to like unplug it and plug it back in after I think it might be coming out this again don't know what it is sharing don't really know but the one thing you need is ready boost right now I didn't even think this was a thing I think this is so clever um, I'll read it off you in case you can't read but if you can't read you wouldn't know what you read in the title so speed up your system by utilizing the available space on this device and then there's I've got do not use this device at the start dedicate this device to ready boost don't know what that does I think that just means you can only use it for ready boost and then use this device and then space to reserve for system speed open bracket maybe less than actual free space due to file system limits close bracket colon uh, come on let's do all the apostrophe and there's this little gauge I, I wouldn't touch that if I was you that's what it like recommends and I don't want to go messing around and it delete the things that are on it and then I think this bit's just information at the end while the device is being used for system speed the reserved space will not be available for file storage Re Windows recommends reserving 1806 megabytes for optimal performance now all you really have to do is click use this device and click either apply or ok apply if you don't want these bits to close down ok if you want it to close down so you know it doesn't really make much difference and there we go now that appears that it's full um, it's clearly not full because I cannot open because these two take up how much they take up don't want to show you that, that they don't take much I'm going to say that yeah it doesn't want to show you um, they take up tiny tiny amounts but it's actually using that for RAM now I'm not really short on RAM because you know of 12 gigs that's fine for what I do um, yeah I've got 12 gigs of RAM so I'm I'm not really short on RAM it's just I'll probably use it just to see if it does actually make massive differences 2 gig of RAM isn't going to make any difference that's why I kind of wanted to use one memory stick now don't unplug this whatever you do without having um, without disabling it because if you unplug it without disabling it and you just do the exact same thing to disable it um, you won't actually ever be able to use it for storage again so don't do that I really wouldn't suggest it so now this is when I'm gonna ask you guys for some help because let's plug in this other memory stick this other memory stick's got a lot more space on it I don't know how much it is it's 7 gig right and there we are <laughs> now according to this the 6 point 
five no six point two five megabytes free of seven gig. Now there's nothing in this folder whatsoever. And if I actually try and activate it, I can't because I've got to have at least that amount of space. Now if I go to gen um sorry, where is it? Now if I do the error checking, it doesn't come up with anything. If I defragment it, it doesn't do anything because there's no files and you can't back it up because there's no files there. And my mouse is annoying the hell out of me. And I don't understand it because it says that it's full, it says here that it's full, but there's nothing on it. Now, if you guys can help, I would appreciate it because unless I can, unless it's is it restore default? I'm gonna try it. You actually just wipe my whole computer. That wouldn't be cool. Nope, that hasn't done anything either. So I don't know the. I know someone at my school. I know this happened to someone at my school, and I don't know how you fix it or anything like that. But if you guys could help, I would very much appreciate it. Um. Yeah, I really don't have a clue. See you guys, thanks for watching. I hope increasing the RAM helped. If you have pretty much like any more than like six gig of RAM, you, you don't really need to do it. It's just for like for things like Minecraft, um, which I haven't played Minecraft in a long time actually. Um, I think the the recommend or like I recommend anyway, and I know a lot of other people do like four gigs. And if you only have like two gig of RAM left, if you had like for instance this seven gig. Um, USB drive, you'd be able to use 7 gig of extra RAM. So if I did that, I'd have 21 gig of RAM. So you know, I wouldn't really be running short. But you guys, I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope this helped you, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.